We are back live here outside on 4th Street in the city of Chester. You can see uh, a group of reporters, some of our colleagues there, uh, speaking with neighbors who are uh, the next door neighbors to the business here in question on 4th Street, where five people were shot, two were killed. The motive behind this gun violence, according to investigators, a, a workplace dispute, a disagreement of sorts where someone shows up armed, uh, comes to their workplace and opens fire, according to Delaware County District Attorney Jack Stolsteimer. Uh, he provided remarks, as you saw just on our screen there, uh, about 10 minutes ago. We are now getting more information as the picture becomes clearer from those who would have been in earshot of all of this uh, from earlier this morning. Uh, to give you a sense of the location of where we're at. It is a mix of, of residences and businesses here in the city of Chester. A church is across the street, and this business itself is a, uh, a linen business. Jim, if you're, you're still with me, uh, the business is... Uh, it serves uh, hotels, restaurants. A uh, lot of uh, that work happens, uh, you know, uh, from from just reading up on it quickly uh, at nighttime. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. if this was a shift work situation, or if, if employees were were known to come and go through different various tours of work, uh, all of that left to be determined. But uh, right now, this investigation with three. Uh, in the hospital, uh, being treated for gunshot wounds, uh, two shot and killed, and uh, the suspect apprehended in custody. We understand that happened in somewhat quick fashion, uh, picked up in nearby trainer, taken into custody. Clearly, at this point, there has to be evidence pointing uh, investigators uh, to the uh, conclusion, what they're concluding to be that this stems from workplace violence. So we'll continue to uh, press our sources, work our sources, and also speak with neighbors about uh, what it is they did see out here in Chester this morning, just happening before uh, the 9 o'clock hour. So Jim, we'll send it back to you with the latest on what we're having and what we're hearing from right now. And Joe, I should point out, there's a massive uh, presence out there of law enforcement. I mean, when this went down about an hour and a half ago, I mean, there was like an all-call for everyone in the county to get out there. Is that what you're understanding? I mean, it looks like there's a lot of, of emergency responders there right now. Oh, and here we've got the and district attorney. It is what attorney. I understand. Mm -hmm. and, and, and we're joined by Jack Stolzheimer. Jack, thank you. We're, we're live here on our, our stream. I appreciate you being here. Mm -hmm. uh, I know you briefed uh, uh, the media with what you could uh, describe, but I understand you were also running around trying to gather information, figure out what, what did unfold here. And uh, I know you've given us the details, and not probably a lot has changed since then. Right. But. Um, your, your sense of, uh, of this, and I understand, it, I, I could see your frustration with what it is you're dealing with now. Sure. I mean, there's just too many guns in the hands of people who shouldn't have them. And here you've got uh, somebody who's uh, a disgruntled employee of this business, doesn't like some of his co-workers for whatever reason, uh, and decides to come in and kill them. Uh, and so we've got two people dead. I had to go in and look at their poor bodies. These people just went to work today, like every other day, thinking that they're just carrying on with their life, and now they're laying on the ground dead. Uh, and there's three people at the hospital who I think hopefully everybody in the community is now praying for because they've got gunshot wounds and one at least is critical. Um, but it's just, it's a horrible, horrible thing to have to witness. Uh, thankfully, law enforcement got on the scene, uh, got the description of the shooter, got him in custody so people in the community can know that there's nothing more to see here at this moment. Right. We're just processing the scene and trying to understand how this all played out. See, uh, county detectives are collecting uh, spent firearms casings, uh, things like that, uh, and trying to put together the, the, the story of what happened here uh, so we can properly charge the individual who we've got in custody. If you can, can you say uh, or estimate how many rounds were fired? And I can't really tell you at this point. Uh, I think they're still, they're literally as we speak, going around the area of the um, business to try to see if we're missing any uh, spent firearms casing. So until they're able to give me a fulsome report, I really don't know. And you've indicated that uh, the shootings took place both inside and outside the business. Was this people unfortunately literally running for their lives? Is this what yeah. they're believing? Well, it's unclear. Uh, you know, there's one deceased person on the outside of the, the business and there's one inside. Uh, and so I think the individual just came to work, and as soon as he started seeing people he wanted to kill, he started shooting at them. Uh, and as I said, one is outside, uh, we're praying for their souls, but one is inside, uh, just 
normal people trying to go to work, to provide for their families, you know, live the American dream. And this morning, at, you know, before 10 o'clock a.m., they were they're, they're deceased. Their families, their families' lives are ruined. Jack, there was a distress call for uh, a countywide police assist. I understand there was a large crowd. Sure. Likely because of the gunfire. Is there any? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I, I think people. This is bizarre to be saying this, Joe, but because law enforcement has partnered with the community so well on Chester, we've reduced the number of shootings to the point when there is shots fired, it really stirs people. Uh, and there was a lot of shots fired, a lot of mayhem, uh, because people are running around who have been uh, wounded. Uh, and uh, it's not something people expect anywhere in America, but they're not expected here in the city of Chester as much either, which we're really thankful for. Um, but law enforcement got here, as did for our first responders. Uh, they took the individuals right to the hospital. Hopefully the, the immediacy of care uh, is going to help them survive. Um, but unfortunately, two individuals are, are, are not are not going to be able to, to, to join their families ever again. Jack, thank you. Thank you for stopping and chatting with me. I understand you're very busy. So thank you for making Thanks, time. Sir. Jack Stolsteimer, the Delaware County District Attorney, giving us the very latest and uh, some of what uh, we did not hear earlier with the rest of the press corps uh, is his emotion and his uh, uh, not a numb reaction, but a very deep reaction to now the details that he has to process. The details his investigators now have to sift through. They are literally working on trying to figure out the number of shots that were fired. No information on the firearm used, but if we want to recap, once again, five people shot, two dead, one now critical at Crozer Chester Medical Center, the two remaining being treated for gunshot wounds, police rushing some of the wounded, uh, some found outside of the business here, a linen business, rushing them to the hospital. The district attorney said hopefully the immediacy of care gives them the best outlook of survival. The business itself is a linen business. The suspect behind all of this coming to work armed and with a beef, according to the preliminary investigation. That is the sad story here on a Wednesday morning on 4th Street in Chester. Jim Donovan, we will send it back to you, sir. Thank you so much, Joe, for that update again.